Hi, my name's Simon from Motor Drome, and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 1967 um, Mini 850 automatic that you can see behind me lurking. Um, one walk around video, one driving video, plus some uh, engine running action as well. Um, hope you like them. Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 1967. It's on an e registration. Uh, Morris Mini Minor 850 automatic. Really, really sweet example, this one. Um, finished in maroon with a white roof. I suspect the white roof isn't original. I think it was only uh, Cooper models at the time that had two-tone paintwork. So uh, I would imagine it's uh, maroon originally and uh, when it's been restored, a white roof has been added. But um, white 10 inch wheels, um, all the proper um, either super or deluxe trim. So it's got the bumper overriders on it. Um, and this one's a Morris badge one. Copper glass lenses. Proper Mark I with uh, um, outside hinges and sliding windows and what have you. Narrow rear window. Small lights. And it's absolutely lovely. It's, um, it's an older restoration. Uh, I'll have a look at the history and find out exactly when it was done. And when it came to us, it wasn't running great. Um, so we've done things like uh, um, replaced the fuel pump and starter motor. And it's had all sorts of little tweaks and stuff and now runs absolutely beautifully. Um, but it's a really, really sweet example. Uh, internally, all pretty standard, apart from it's got that rather nice period wooden dash with... Um, in sort of cubby boxes instead um, instead of the normal shelf heaters there that's the automatic transmission selector the rear seat certainly the base is a slightly different color well not slightly it is a different color it's more sort of a brownie green color so it's been covered with that uh, rather natty travel rug um, but it is uh, it is all there underneath that just a slightly different color as i say um, yeah Let's walk round it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. What's that in the roof? Oh, it's an interior light that hasn't been fitted. Headlining could be slightly better. It's obviously a replacement headlining, I think, but it's slightly sort of ruckled over that side. Anyway, let's go from the start from the outside and walk round it properly. As I say, not freshly painted. Um, you can't really see them out here in the light, but underneath our harsh showroom lights, there are one or two marks on the bonnet. Actually, you might be able to see that one there. Um, one or two marks in the paintwork and a bit of micro blistering, certainly on this offside front wing, just around there. But uh, the usual seams and everything, all as they should be. And say nice to see it's got proper proper indicator lenses on it as well chrome's pitted here and there but pretty good uh, that near side light surround is slightly pitted looking down the near side it's very straight indeed down there again that seam up there Screen surround and screen are good. Closing panel here, all as it should be. Passenger door now, I did notice when I was cleaning it, a tiny bubble of rust just starting to appear just there on the very, very base of the door. And internally there's a slight bubble there on the sill. But uh, otherwise, it's got its proper door pockets in. Dash is all nice. Seats, the passenger seat's got one or two black marks on it, but they probably would come off with a good uh, good scrub. And the carpet has one or two small marks on it as well. But again, nothing that won't uh, come off with some uh, scrubbing, I don't think. We've talked about the headlining. It's missing its interior light. Near side rear wing is all very nice. Can't really see a lot in there at the minute. Uh, we've got photos of the underside of it, which uh, some underside photos before uh, we've driven it. So um, we've got those, but it's all been done underneath. Around the tail end, 
couple of small chips just above the light unit there. Again, chrome isn't the concourse standard, but it's actually not bad at all around the back end. So a couple of bits of micro blistering in the paint and what have you. Looking down the offside, again, looks pretty good down there. Offside rear wing is all nice. Offside door is all good. And again, the closing panel's in good shape and the seam is good. And then inside here, obviously a door card. All as you'd expect. Yeah, it's lovely. I love it. Anyway, so there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information. Right, quick video of start up an engine running on this uh, 1967 Mini 850 automatic. Engine's running nice and warm at the moment because we've just been out for a nice run. So as you can see, starts instantly. Starts well whether it's hot or cold. Obviously when it's cold, it needs a little bit of choke. The petrol can is not for this car, incidentally. Um, right, let's have a look under bonnet. Proper little A-series. Possibly a very slight exhaust leak, possibly, but minor if it is. But there we have it.